It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates how to make a character vector in R. Hi, it's Monica here, and I'm going to show you how to make a character vector in R. Then I'm going to tell you why you would even want one, but that's philosophical. We'll put that off a moment. Okay, so let me get personal here with you. In my life, I have lived in four different cities, Boston, Tampa, Mountain View, and Minneapolis. Oh, I forgot Washington, D.C., but that was just an internship. Any, anyway, I've lived in, let's just say I lived in four cities. So I want to make a vector listing those four cities. I'd make code like this. Let's examine it. Okay, what do we see here? We see the arrow. Remember, that's just a less than sign with a dash after it, but it means we are making an object. Obviously, we are making a character vector. And we are naming the character vector cities. So let's see what command we are using to do that. Yes. That is the C command. Someone once said it stands for combine. So let's say that's what C means, combine. Oh, and look what's next. Parentheses, let's get into an argument. Actually, let's have four arguments, one for each city. So it's a character vector. We'll put quotes around each city name and we'll put commas between each of the arguments. And of course, don't forget to close the parentheses. All right, that vector code is done. I'm going to highlight and control R. The code ran. I made a vector named cities. Let's look at it. I'm going to highlight cities and control R. Yep, there they are on the console. See that one that is next to Boston? There are only four. If there were five, it would have wrapped around and there would have been a five below the one. So it kind of keeps track for you in the console how long your character vector is. So why do we even want a character vector? It's because character vectors can be used to manipulate data frames. Basically, you put the field names for the data frame that you want to manipulate in R into a character vector, and then you can use the vector for that purpose. I'll link in the description to this video to a good page on vectors, which shows where character vectors with data field names are used to manipulate data frames. Okay, so that's your data science makeover for today. Bye for now. Thank you for watching this data science makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's data science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.